today's episode of Lines or News. There are officially four days of school left, not including today. The answer to this week's riddle, a man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or hat didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? He was bald. Today's fun fact, the characters Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street were named after Bert the Cop and Ernie the Taxi Driver in Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. We will now go to Carrie Ann for the sports news. The baseball team has a game today at Mason County at 5.30 and tomorrow at Paris in the Greyhound Classic. The track team will compete in the Buffalo Trace Conference today at Bracken County at 5.30. District play starts Monday for the softball team and the tennis team. Now back to you. There is another ACT test scheduled for July 15th with a registration date of June 16th. Students who have received award packages from colleges need to log in and accept them ASAP. See Ms. Sloan for any questions and let the counselors know what scholarships you've been awarded in preparation for awards day. Yearbooks can only be ordered online at yearbookforever.com. I tags can be ordered in place of name stamps. Notices are being sent to students who still owe for library books. Seniors must have all books, materials, and college classes paid in order to graduate. LCHS Awards Day has been set for May 17th, 8.30 a.m. in the high school auditorium with graduation practice to follow. Senior brunch and graduation practice is May 18th. The lunch menu for today is surprise lunch. Monday is dilly chicken and Tuesday there is no school. We will now go to Quentin for the weather. The weather forecast for this weekend is temperatures in the 80s with scattered thunderstorms all week. Now back to you. Today's closing segment is a video highlighting Mother's and Father's Day. And that's a wrap for today's episode of the Lions Roar News. Go Lions! Go Lions.